As you can see, I'm using Rayshade right now in Pal World, and you have a bunch of customization options to change the way that your game looks, maybe work with the ambient light, maybe work with the sharpen, any graphic enhancement that you could imagine, you could probably do with Reshade. And if not, you could always download presets for it. So yeah, let's get started with this tutorial on how to download and install Reshade for Power World. Now, the first step for downloading and installing Reshade is to click the second link in the description, which is gonna bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Reshade. I did this guide a while ago for GTA 5, but since it works for Power World, I figured I made a guide for you guys so you could also install it for Power World. Once you click on that second link, you'll be hearing our guide, our written guide. Again, you could look at the photos, you could read through the text. It's a very in-depth guide. However, if you just wanna make this real quick, just scroll down and click where it says download. That is going to redirect you to the Reshade website where you're going to scroll down and you're going to download either the 6.0.1 or the 6.0.1 with full add-on support. I'm actually gonna download that one just because I wanna have like the add-on option for later on, but you could download any of them. Now, as you can see in here, since we're downloading the full add-on support, it says that this version of Reshade is only intended for single player and it could cause a ban in multiplayer. I don't know if that's gonna happen with Pal World. I don't think they're gonna ban you in Pal World as long as you're playing in your own multiplayer game and your own server. However, if you're doing this in a public server, I do recommend that you get permission from the owner to be able to use Reshade. However, I don't think anything should happen. That is just my opinion as I don't have a lot of information about this topic. So if I were you, I would restrict the use to either your multiplayer games that you host or the games that your friends are hosting or your own server. Anyways, let's go ahead and start downloading that. When you guys click on OK, it's just going to download right away. In my case, it asked me where to save the file, but for you guys, it's just going to download right away. Once you have that file, I want you to go ahead and try and drop it to your desktop. Now, once you download a Reshade, all you have to do to install it is double click it. However, make sure that you have Power World closed and go ahead and launch the Reshade setup. Now, again, it's giving me the warning that this is only meant for single player games and it could cause a man in multiplayer games. That's why I say only use it in servers or games that you're allowed to use it if you get permission for your friends or the server owner. And now that Reshade is opening, give it a second for it to load. It's gonna load every single app that you own. And then what you're going to do is search for Power World in here. You could also scroll down until you see it. And once you find it, you're gonna go ahead and click next. So well, select it first and then click next. Click direct X 10, 11 or 12, click next again. And then here you can select everything that you want to install or update, right? Now I've seen some people saying that you don't have to select everything in here. You can only select the options that you want. And while that is true, you can only select the options that you want. You don't have to select everything. I like to install everything at once. See, I like to uncheck everything and then check it all. So I could install everything and then whatever I don't like, I could always just disable it later in the game. But I already have it installed. I don't know if you guys get me. And it's going to start downloading the things that we just selected and give it a second for it to download everything. I guess that in the meantime, I could tell you guys about today's sponsor real quick. It's Apex Hosting. If you're trying to create a Power server to play with your friends, a server that goes instantly online and that is open 24 seven. Okay, that is very important because if you're hosting your own server, you can only play with your friends once you have the server open and your computer is on. But with this server, you could always go offline and the server will still stay on. So Apex Hosting will give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. And that's it. That's There's not a lot to say. You could read everything here in the website. It's a great service. I've used it for a long time for other games as well. So I'm going to leave that first link in the description and let's check back with Reshade. And as we can see, Reshade finished downloading the first add-ons. Now in here, you have this option to download more add-ons. Now in this part, guys, just leave it as it is. Don't check anything unless you know what you're doing. And it literally says in here, only select this option if you know what you're doing. So this part, I do recommend that you leave it like this, unless you wanna read through it and see if you find anything useful, then you select it and then you click next. And then that's it, you can now click finish and you can launch your Power World game. I'm gonna go ahead and open Steam and I'm going to launch my Power World and let's show you how to use Reshade once the game opens. Now, as you can see, when the game opens, it's gonna start loading up here and let's go ahead and click on close. And as you can see up there, it says Reshade is loading. Let's go ahead and launch just a single player game. Let's just join one of these games that I have done here in the past for you guys doing tutorials on how to create a server or play with friends. Now, once you're inside the game and now you can see that Reshade actually finished loading, if you press the home key, you could see that now you get an option to follow a tutorial. In this case, I'm going to skip it. And now you could, of course, start selecting things and adding things to your game. You could start deactivating things. You could start adding options in here and you could really start messing around with how things look in the game. Obviously, there's a bunch of options in here. And obviously, if you press home, it goes away as well. I don't know what I activated there. I activated something that you could obviously take everything off again. And obviously, you could work with the game to make the game look as good as you want or to make the game look just how you want. You know, you don't have to use every option. You don't have to do everything the way I do it. There's also presets that you could download for Reshade. Let me know down in the comments if you would like me to check for presets and maybe do a video on presets for Reshade so you guys could 
do some of those. Anyways, that has been everything from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye-bye.